welcome back and thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to be doing an updated wardrobe essentials. It's been over a year since I did the last one, so it was well overdue an update. I just watched my last one and I don't think too much has changed. Um, all the things that I mentioned in that I still would consider an essential in your wardrobe. I think maybe I've just been a little bit more adventurous in the past year with colours, different shapes and styles of things. Sometimes prints as well, it's a little less conservative and just a little less neutral, but still very much in a classic minimal um, realm. So I've got a lot of pieces to talk about here, so I'm gonna be super quick. I'm gonna start from the bottom up, so shoes first. And I have to say, I still am not over the Gucci loafers. These are incredible, I still recommend them. They're not done yet. I also have them in red with a full back, but these ones are my favorites with the sling back. However, I'm also gonna buy soon for summer um, the completely backless pair. I love all the printed ones that they have at the moment. Um, they're comfortable, they're great, they wear beautifully, they go with everything. They've set the bar for me when it comes to flat shoes and whenever I'm looking at flat shoes, I always think, will I wear these as much as my Gucci loafers? And I'm yet to find a pair where the answer is yes. I've said it before, if you're gonna get a pair before you even wear them, go and get a thin rubber sole put on them. You can go and get that done anywhere. I go to Timpsons to get mine done and just has to be a thin one. Try and do it before you wear them at all because the leather sole wears down really, 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 really quickly. Um, I've had these for over a year now, like a year and a half now. They're definitely well loved, um, but they're all right at the bottom and you can get the sole redone as well. So that would be my main tip. I also quickly want to show you a new pair of flats I've got, which are loafer style. This is in my attempt to find something that I love more, but it hasn't succeeded. They're from Jill Sander. I love the colour of these. They are available in black as well. They have this nice strap around the ankle, which is a nice detail. They're really comfortable. They look great with everything, but there's just something about the Gucci loafers that nothing seems to replicate. Um, even when I put these on, I'm like, yeah, but the Gucci loafers would look better. And I can't, I don't know what it is about them. To me, they're just the best pair of shoes. But I want to show you these because they are really lovely. I really, really, really like them. They're just up against some real tough competition. Another style of shoes I had to mention would be a block heeled ankle boot, which is a tall one with a skinny sock style fit to it. Um, all you need to do is go look on my Instagram and you'll see how much I have worn this style of boot. It's been endless. Um, the Dear Francis Spirit boot are always my number one recommendation for this style. I have these in three different colours now. This uh, copper suede, croc leather and also port leather. This one has pressed flowers in the heel which is absolutely incredible. Um, they're really comfortable, you can walk all day in these, they go with everything, they're beautiful. They're just incredible boots, so I would wholeheartedly recommend these. That style of boot has been a massive part of my wardrobe for the past year and will continue to be because it looks so great with denim. They're also really easy to dress up, so they're an incredibly versatile piece. And the lighter colour ones like this will work for spring and summer as well. For a spring and summer shoe though, two strap sandal is the ultimate chic shoe choice in my opinion. I think they're so sexy, they like go with everything. These ones, I can put it on with any outfit, jeans and a t-shirt, jeans and a jumper, a dress, skirt, shorts, anything, and they will work. They're incredibly versatile. These are the Aquazura Wild thing, I think. Um, and I also find that this style of shoe can be the most cripplingly uncomfortable. Stuart White's Nudist, I know it's a really popular style. They're super high. I have them, I can't walk in them. They hurt so much, they're too high. And it's often because your foot really is pushed forward and then your little toe gets rubbed into oblivion through this front strap here. Your toes can even like spread off the end of the shoe as well, especially if you have a slim foot, which is the problem that I have with these shoes. So I've found two pairs that work for me. Firstly are these, they are available in a higher heel height, but I prefer this one. The good thing about them is that you can make it as tight as you want using these. And also because it's more like a shoelace bit of suede, it actually stays done up. Some shoes like this, I'm thinking specifically of the Janvito Rossi lace-up sandals, which I love, um, but they come undone quite a bit because it's a flat bit of suede for the tie, whereas these thin round ones stay done up really well. I also recommend, again from Dear Francis, the Natalie style. Two strap with a good thick strap over the toe. It's a really important part of making them comfortable, but both these and the Dear Francis ones, I can walk all day in, have on my feet on all day. I wore the Dear Francis ones to a wedding last year and kept them on for hours and hours and hours. They're great, great, great shoes. Easy to walk in, look fabulous. Must have in your summer wardrobe. 
Let's move up a level to jeans and obviously the straight leg jeans have reigned supreme. Maybe that's the biggest change in my wardrobe is that I used to live in skinny jeans. I know this is the case for so many people, but now it's all about the straight leg jean. It completely transforms simple denim outfits and I love it. I've got three pairs to recommend. I have a lot of straight leg jeans now. The high street are doing it better and better all the time. So the first ones I'm going to recommend are by Ray and they're in my opinion completely worth the higher end price point. They're quite a long leg jean which is good for me as I'm quite tall. The denim is beautifully soft but also still structured. They're really flattering mid to high rise. So these ones have a really really flattering rise which I also like them for. Another more general brand mention would be Girlfriend Jeans. I've discovered these in the past year and they're absolutely great denim. Um, they are, I have three three different styles, they're all fab, they wash great, they've really done that Levi's 501 style very well, you know the vintage ones everybody has but nobody can actually find in the shops, these have done them really really well to go and buy, again I think they're worth the price point, these are called the Carolina, they're slightly straighter down the leg, if you are not ready to delve into the world of a straight leg jean then these are slightly skinnier and a good way to dip your toes in, and they're slightly higher rise, so I do avoid them if I'm food baby galore. And the other thing I would mention is that the, generally the brand has lots of distressing and detailing in that way. This is a bit too much for me over the bum, but you, I mean, if you like it, then go for it. And but just generally have a look when you're online looking at them. Make sure to pay attention to how much distressing there is because it can be a bit hidden. And well, not hidden, but there's something going on in most of the pairs. Um, however. They're fantastic jeans, absolutely incredible jeans, would definitely recommend. My high street recommendation goes to And Other Stories. Uh, these are quite different washes now as well, so I definitely would buy in different colours. These, to say that they're a lot cheaper than the two pairs, don't feel any different. The denim is beautifully thick. They've washed just as well as all the other pairs I've had. I've worn all of these very heavily, very, very regularly as well. So these have really, really held their own against more premium ones. Uh, not surprising because I do think the high street does denim really, really well. Uh, so yeah, would recommend these. Again, also have a really nice rise to them. The frayed hair, all that kind of thing. So denim is all I've got for trousers now as a wardrobe essential, which I mean, I'm trying to not wear denim as much as you know, but it's not working. Like I just keep wearing. So I really just need to embrace it and just say my essential for your bottom half is denim. I could get rid of the rest and just wear nothing but denim. Moving on to the top half, I have two categories for top. First knitwear and then t-shirts. The turtleneck is still, like, is always going to be my biggest essential throughout winter. I wear turtlenecks all of the time. Uh, but I want it to be a little bit more general and say cashmere. Since I did my cashmere testing basics, I didn't really own any cashmere. I had one cashmere jumper and I did wear it a lot. But since having done that video, I'm converted onto cashmere, which is a real shame for my bank account, because obviously it's more expensive. But I just get why it's such a popular fabric. Like, it's so beautifully soft. It just makes the knits hang in a really, really, really nice way. And my absolute favourite was my Lara Du one, which I'm still wearing as soon as it comes out of the wash. Um, and I've washed this so, so, so many times. So many times, because I wear it so endlessly. And I do just put them in the washing machine on a gentle hand wash, dry them on a heated drying rack, and I have no issues with them whatsoever. All of my cashmere knits is absolutely fine. This one is the best for such an amazing price as well. I love the high neck. It fits beautifully through the body. It's just, it's just like my dream knit, and God knows have I worn this jumper to death. So yeah, cashmere as a general thing has unfortunately become a wardrobe essential for me. I generally find that my selection of tops in my wardrobe is the least exciting part. Because I do live in my turtlenecks, that Lara Duke jumper, really basic pieces and prefer to go for like cool jackets, nice fitting jeans, fancy shoes and just keep the top the most basic bit. I, I'm very rarely excited by a top. However, these are really new, maybe too new to class as an essential already, but please let me go with it because there's some t-shirts, obviously a, a short sleeve t-shirt, I'm allowed to say that's a wardrobe essential, any style of them. I love the Comme des Garçons play ones. I wear, I wore my Comme des Garçons ones so much throughout the summer um, and just generally a short sleeve t-shirt I wear to death. However, a specific recommendation and some from Urban Outfitters from BDG. Um, I bought these the other week. They've all been washed already because I've worn them at least once already and they're just really good fitting t-shirts so I wanted to mention them. I've worn them in a few videos and lots of you have been asking, where's that from? It looks like a lovely fit and it is a lovely fit. 
So I got this colour. I actually had a pink colour as well. I don't know where that's gone. Um, it's probably in the wash actually. And also I got a red colour. I got them both in a medium. Um, and they fit really nicely. And as I said, so far I'm performing very well because they've been washed a couple of times and I have no issues. Moving on from tops, tops are boring, let's do jackets and my year round essential which was in the last one as well is still a long line blazer. I wear them in winter, I wear them in spring, I wear them in summer and I even wear them in autumn because they, you can layer them for when it's cold, you can wear them on their own with a cami top when it's not so cold. I love my long line blazers, they are an absolute bugger to find though, there is not that many decent ones on the high street, I'm yet to find fantastic ones on the high street. The high end ones aren't always the best. The best ones that I've found, I now have this in three different colours, is my jigsaw one. I'm sure you're all sat going like, ah, oh, the jigsaw one. Like, we have seen this flipping blazer so many times, but they're brilliant. I have it in three shades now. The black one, which is my most warm, a grey tweed sort of style, and recently this yellow one has spring-like of me. And I have a blazer from Isabel Morant as well, which is quite similar to this, but I wanted to bring up this specific style because I haven't found a long line blazer that I love. As much as these jigsaw ones, they wear beautifully, they last forever. The black one, my God, I've had it for over a year and it has been worn relentlessly. And I mean, that has been put through its paces. They're absolutely great. They look so flattering, they look so smart. You can wear them for work. I obviously don't work in an office environment, but I wear mine all of the time with casual looks. For evening, they're just the best. Everybody needs a long line blazer. It updates it from feeling too traditional, too corporate. They go with everything. They add a bit of tailoring into super casual outfits and just pull it look together perfectly. I think they're absolutely fantastic. Best ones that I have found, hands down. And finally, let's do some handbags. Um, I have got three bags here. They're all high end and I found that from my, all of the bags that I have, which isn't too many, but the ones that I have loved the most are ones that have a top handle and also a crossbody option. Crossbody for when you're out, like doing stuff, you need both your hands free, you can text and walk, stuff like that. When I'm busy, rushing, that's the best. If you want to then wear it in an evening and for it to feel completely different, maybe if you're having your photo taken, I know that's not relevant to everybody, but it's massively relevant to what I do, then sometimes holding it top handle is really nice as well. So the first one I have is a Loewe puzzle. I've had this for over a year now absolutely incredible bags. They, I recommend them so wholeheartedly. They really can take a battering, basically. They wear beautifully. They can fit loads in, shove stuff in them, throw them around a little bit, and they just wear really well. They're almost impossible to scratch or mark, she says, while wiping a mark off the top of it. But they're really good bags. Um, and they also look quite differently when you hold them top handle because it makes it dip in the top as opposed to crossbody where it then doesn't do that. So that's the first one. Uh, the second one is from Fendi. This is the Toujours. I've had this since about December. Um, it's quite big for this style, maybe not to everybody's preference to wear crossbody, but I personally quite like a bigger bag of crossbody. And this one has three compartments, two big ones and then a zippy one in the middle. It has some stuff in it now. Um, holds a really decent amount of stuff. It's quite a practical one as well, which is essential for me too. So yeah, again, it's worn in really beautifully so far. No marks on it whatsoever and looks great held, but I feel like it looks super smart held with a top handle as well. So that one, and the newest one, which is super new, I've only had this one for a few weeks, is the Gucci Nymphia, Nymphia, Nymph, something like that. I don't know, it'll be linked down below in the description box. This one has a fancy top handle because it's bamboo and then also the crossbody strap as well, which is a little bit shorter than the other one. So maybe bear that in mind. The other ones can be worn really long and really short, but this one on its longest setting, is still relatively short. Um, and it's just a big one compartment. It has like poppers to open it. Got a camera in there, some train tickets, the usual kind of a thing. So this is the newest one. I'm going to do a full blog post on this once I have worn it a little bit more and can review it fully. But so far, all I mean, all three of them are really versatile bags. But the top handle crossbody combination, I have been all about recently, and I think it makes such an expensive purchase go that little bit further in how you can style it as well. So that was everything. I've just talked so much. I need to go make a cup of tea. Um, thank you for watching. Links for everything in the description box. Let me know what your wardrobe essentials are. If you think I've missed anything where you're like, oh my god, I thought you'd have said this because of how much you wear it, then comment that. I love reading comments like that because sometimes I'm like, I did forget that. I am an idiot, so thank you. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.